Hey everyone and welcome back to another great under $5 eShop deals video. This is basically a weekly series where every week we go through the games that are currently on sale on the eShop and I point out which are my top picks for games that are currently under $5. The idea behind this series is very simple, is to make sure that even if you're on a tight budget, it doesn't mean you can't pick up great games each and every week to have tons of fun with. Now, just before we get to the giveaway information, I do want to do a quick reminder that I will not be going over the deals that were mentioned in last week's video since this is a weekly series. And I always strongly suggest that you check out last week's video. And currently this week, most of the deals on last week's lists are still currently live. So if you want to make sure that you're getting all the top suggestions, check out at least last week's video. So first of all, for the Cuphead giveaway that was launched on the weekend, the winner has been selected and I'll be announcing it about halfway down the list. However, as I also mentioned in that weekend video, we will now be starting to give away each and every week a $5 eShop gift card in line with the under $5 series. The way to participate is exactly as in the Cuphead giveaway. It'll be as easy as pie. All you have to do is leave a comment down below in the description of the video any friendly comment will do. Let me know what game you will pick up. Let me know what you thought of the video and whatnot. And same as today, all you'll have to do is tune into the weekend normal eShop deals video that comes out generally on Saturday or Sunday. And about halfway through the list, I'll be announcing who the winner of the $5 eShop gift card is. Now let's get started on today's list because it is quite an interesting list that we have today of about 15 games that are currently on sale at under $5. And there are really a lot of interesting titles this week. So I strongly suggest you stay tuned for the full list. As usual, don't forget that if you do like this content, the best way to support the channel as well is to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. Now the first game on our list is going to be Woven that is currently 90% off at $1.99. Now a 3D platformer at under $5 is quite a rare sight even during the eShop deals videos. And Woven, I just discovered myself, isn't actually quite a solid one where you basically play a stuffed animal that can interchange all his body parts to basically give him new abilities to confront all the different challenges and puzzles during the game. It's quite an interesting one. If anyone's into 3D platformers for only $2, this is an amazing pickup. So this week's list has a lot of twin stick shooters on it because this week there's a lot of really decent twin stick shooters on sale. And one of the more special ones is the one we're looking at right now, which is called Secanoid, that is 90% off at only $1.99. Basically, this isn't your traditional twin stick shooter where the goal is just to shoot everything on screen. It actually mixes puzzle elements in where you have to try to get around the obstacles in a variety of different rooms and actually make it from the beginning to the end of the game in with only three lives. And a lot of part of this is trial and error and basically learning every room by heart. So this is going to be one of the more hit or miss twin stick shooters. I completely adore this game, but make sure you're into that puzzle and repetitive design. Now the next game we're going to take a look at is also at its first appearance on our list, and that is Daggerhood. That is currently 60% off, dropping the price once again to only $1.99. Now this is a challenging platformer that took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting it to be as fun as it was. However, as I said, it is quite challenging and it has a really original mechanic where basically your dagger is not only your weapon, but is a tool that will allow you to teleport to its location at any time. And the level designs in this game are very, very interesting and make you use that digger dagger in hundreds of different ways. So if you're into platformers and you're up for a tiny challenge, definitely check out Daggerhood for only $2. Now, next on the list, we have one of my budget favorites, which is the Bug Butcher that is currently 75% off at only $1.99. Now, this is an arcade platform shooter where basically everything happens vertically and your point is just to kill wave after wave of bugs. If you love shooting at things with tons of different weaponry and some awesome, nice visuals, I would definitely say give the Bug Butcher a try, especially right now when it's on sale for only $2. It's an awesome pickup. And when I said that this week's list was interesting, I wasn't lying because we have some styles of games that we rarely see at the under $5 mark. And next we have Coffee Crisis that is 80% off at only $1.99. Now this is a retro old school pixelated beat-em-up. 
and it is actually a pretty solid one at that. It does have its moments of difficulty spikes, however, so do be prepared for that. But ultimately, if you want to play a retro beat em up and a pretty decent one on the Nintendo Switch, especially in co op mode, it becomes tons and tons of fun. Definitely check out Coffee Crisis. It's hard to go wrong with this one if you're into the beat em up genre. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Utopia 9, a volatile vacation that is 80% off dropping the price to once again to only $1.99. Now, this is another twin stick shooter, but with a rogue like design. So if you're into that genre of gameplay, I definitely think that Utopia 9 is going to be one of your better pickups for this week. This has you fighting through hordes of aliens, basically, while you're on a vacation. Yes, it's a odd storyline. It is not too long gameplay wise, but nonetheless, it is tons of fun. And especially when you can pick it up for only $2, I definitely think this one is worth your while if you're into the roguelike gameplay. Now, the next game on our list is going to be another twin stick shooter, and it's one of my personal favorites, and that is Inferno 2. That is currently 60% off at only $1.99. Now, what I love about Inferno 2 is the RPG mechanics that they've thrown in. It really has me coming back time and time again to the game and motivates me to keep pushing forward in the gameplay. And that's what I really love about Inferno 2 and what really dragged me in. On top of that, some amazing neon visuals are really top notch in this game. If you're into twin stick shooters, but would like a little bit of RPG progression, definitely check out Inferno 2. Now we're going to take a couple of seconds for the Cuphead giveaway. And I wish I had 165 codes so that I could give a code to each and every person that entered the giveaway. But unfortunately, I only have one. And the code that was selected at random was Mr. Smiley, who is going to be getting the Cuphead code. He said, I'll be getting that Double Dragon Kunio Kun bundle later. Also, I hope I win. I've been waiting for Cuphead to go on sale. I bought my Switch earlier this year. Sadly, no sale yet. And you are right, Mr. Smiley. Unfortunately, Cuphead does not go on sale very often because it pretty much sells pretty well at full price. So to claim your prize, Mr. Smiley, I'm just asking you to reach out to my pinned comment down below in the next 48 hours so I can explain to you how I'll be able to give you that code safely and make sure I'm giving it to the right person. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Spooky Chase that I actually reviewed on the channel, and you can check that review if you wish. But Spooky Chase has a really addictive and simple gameplay, and what I loved about it is the easy pickup and play mechanics. It basically melds platforming with an auto runner design, but in a very original format. Now, this one should be definitely checked out if you're into any of those things I mentioned. If you need some more convincing, checking out my review. But at 60% off for only $1.99, this is a seriously interesting game for this week. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Super Mutant Alien Assault that is currently 80% off at only $1.99. Now, this is an action platform shooter that is based on procedurally generated room designs. And it is a very interesting one at that. It is some straightforward shoot 'em up fun. If you're into that type of gameplay, I definitely think you should check out Super Mutant Alien Assault, especially when it's on sale at $2. I find this game is a steal. Now for our next game, we're back to another twin stick shooter with Death Ray Manta SE that is currently 80% off at only $2. Now, Death Ray Manta is a pretty straightforward arcade design twin stick shooter, meaning that if what you love is just shooting everything that appears on screen, Death Ray Manta is a definite place to look out. Once again, it has some amazing neon visuals, and that's what really attracted to me this game and has me playing it again and again on a regular basis. So if you're looking for another twin stick shooter or just an arcade styled one, this is an excellent place to put $2. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Dungeonoid, another game that I actually reviewed on the channel, which is a twist on the original Arkanoid style gameplay mixed in with RPG elements. What I pretty much said about the game is that I loved it a ton for anyone who's into that classic Arkanoid gameplay, and the RPG's design really makes you want to progress further on in the game. However, some of the level designs did seem slightly unfair, and you will sometimes stay blocked on a level for like 30 or 40 tries 
just because the level design is a little unfair. But nonetheless, at 60% off for $2.79, if you're into that old school arcade style gameplay, I definitely think that Dungeonoid is worth an investment at $2.79. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Gunpig Firepower for Hire that is currently 30% off at $3.49. This is going to be the last twin stick shooter of this week. And Gunpig is a game that, once again, I reviewed on the channel. And pretty much what I had to say about it, beautiful visuals, great controls, and overall a really addictive and fun gameplay. However, unfortunately, it has a full runtime. You can go through a full run in under 30 minutes because this game is not focused around getting to the end once, but rather way playing multiple times and basically giving you a challenge by either finishing the game quicker or with a higher score. There are a few secrets to unlock throughout the game, but if you really put yourself to it, it'll only take you an extra one or two runs, which is why right now at $3.49, it is a good pickup if you've played most of the other twin stick shooters on the list, but out of all the ones for this week, this would be probably the last one to pick up. Now the next game on our list is one that I'm really glad to see a sale on, and that is Tales from Space Mutant Blob Attacks. Now why am I glad to see a sale? Well, this game is a very, very interesting and very solid 2D action platformer. The only problem with this game is the runtime that is not that long. And at $10, I would say that there are better options out there. However, right now at 60% off for $3.99, Tales from Space becomes an excellent pickup in my opinion, because it has some really interesting level designs, some really interesting physics to the game. The only thing is that most experienced platformers will knock this one out in only a couple of hours. Now the next game on our list is probably one of my top overall picks for this week and that is Child of Light the Ultimate Edition that is currently 75% off at $4.99. Now basically this game number one has some really really amazing art style to it. I really love the art style of Child of Light and it was really what convinced me first of all to try this game out. And secondly, the gameplay is very solid. It basically mixes platforming with RPG combat. Basically, to traverse the stages, you'll be platforming through them. However, when you get to the combat sections, it'll be an RPG-like design. It is an awesome blend and it works really well. And if you have only $5 to spend this week and you want one amazing game, I definitely think Child of Light is one of the top pickups. Now we are finally at the last game on our list for this week and we have Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 The Jedi Outcast that is currently 50% off at $4.99. So this is basically a 3D Star Wars action game, however it's a remake of a game that came out quite, quite a few years ago. And I'll be honest with you, it does feel a little bit dated gameplay wise. So be aware of that before you jump in. But if you are a fan of Star Wars, I definitely think that nonetheless, at only $5, you will enjoy this game. And it's awesome to see on sale because a game that does feel dated like this at $5 finally feels like a fair pickup. So that is pretty much it for this week's list of eShop deals at under $5. So I just want to thank everyone who participated in the giveaway this weekend, and I hope you re-participate in the $5 eShop gift cards giveaway this week. Now, I know that a $5 gift card is maybe not the biggest giveaway possible, but what I can promise is as the channel grows, so will the giveaways that I guarantee. So don't forget, if you want to participate, all you have to do is comment in the video down below and tune into the weekend video to see if you won or not. And as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget that if you do like this content and you want to see more, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.